Greetings. Uh, this is just a quick uh, YouTube video of Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk, um, which is probably one of my favourite uh, towns, certainly in East Anglia, and uh, a bit underrated, I think. It's um, just a lovely, lovely place, uh, full of really interesting little streets and shops. I'm just going to take you on a short tour. Um, this is one of the areas here that's quite attractive. It's, it's um, Saturday the 17th of December 2011 today and um, the sun is sort of beginning to set. We've had a bit of snow today. Uh, it's got all these lovely little shops. This is supposed to be one of the smallest pubs in the world or something. Or smallest pubs in Great Britain, I'm not sure. Not much room, just standing room only. And I'll just take you around here. That's uh, Café Rouge, Santander. Really nice, um, charming buildings really for all of the different shops and offices. Uh, for example this um, Norwich and Peterborough Building Society here, which you might just about be able to see, is uh, in a really lovely location. Uh, that's just down from the Nutshell Pub. Um, in the past, I've read that uh, Bury St Edmunds has been called a clone town, which means that all of the shops are kind of chain stores. But actually, I think nothing could be further from the truth, really, because it does have a really nice selection of um, chain stores and quite a big uh, shopping area now has opened. I think it's called Ark, which has Debenhams and Monsoon and various shops. But uh, equally, uh, Bury St Edmunds also has... No end of uh, little shops and cafes, tea rooms. It has a market here on Saturdays, which you can see. Um, but it has a real sort of charm about it. The building's really lovely. And um, it's got a very nice atmosphere as well. This is part of the market. And then it has this street here, uh, which goes down to the Abbey Gardens. This is Palmer's, which is a family-owned department store. And uh, then this street here, I think it might be called Abbey Hill or something. I can't remember. Um, this goes down to the Abbey Gardens, which are really beautiful, particularly uh, in the spring. And I think I filmed those on my YouTube channel before. So really, Bury St Edmunds is one of those towns that's got lots of different um, angles and elements, really, got lots of different areas. It's things like this, even this branch of Greg's. Uh, it's got a real kind of Dickensian feel about it. There's a rather beautiful, um, beautiful seems to be a word that I overuse on these videos, uh, a rather charming jewellers here, a little private jewellers with some quite expensive bits and pieces in the window, but it's got a lovely kind of old fashioned feel, it's got that big, well Christmas trees on the top, but also that rather nice clock up there, ten past two. So Bury St Edmunds, if you're ever in Suffolk or East Anglia generally, come to Bury St Edmunds and uh, enjoy a rather unique atmosphere. Lots of shops, lots of places to eat and uh, now one of our firm favourites.